Thank you to all who are joining and all those who will uh, listen and hopefully enjoy the book. Thank you uh, with great uh, feelings to the Penguin team. Uh, the Penguin Random House have been absolutely amazing uh, in every aspect of the production and actually also, of course, the printing and the support in every language. Uh, the, the experience was fabulous. It was really a joy. Uh, thank you for the, the studios, uh, the SNK or the Abbey Road. They were absolutely full of good energy, enjoyed being with them, and uh, the experience was fabulous. Thank you so much uh, for this. And I think everyone appreciated very much. It's my privilege now to introduce Mariano Kairos. Mariano Kairos is an editor from Random House and Penguin Audio. Please go ahead. Hello, Dr. Nader. And welcome to all people uh, on Instagram and, and Facebook, of, of course, who are joining us today. Um, I wanted to say, for some years now, the audiobook has become one of the fastest growing and most promising alternatives to approach reading. In 2021, Penguin Random House has launched around the world more than 2,000 titles in this format. And I can say, I, I can say on behalf of the Penguin Audio team, that the process of producing and recording the audiobook of One Unbounded Ocean of Consciousness has been a new and powerful experience. It's amazing the reception the book has had uh, so far in its many incarnations. For Penguin Audio, uh, the audiobook is not so much a novelty that comes hand in hand with digital technology, but a format that allows us to recover an ancient and very noble tradition. It is, it is a tradition in which the, home, the human voice is once again the perfect vehicle for telling stories and communicating ideas. Sound is vibration and it's the reverberation of consciousness, if we can say in some way. And the quality of the sound, the quality of the intonation uh, also evokes the meaning in a more profound way. Uh, I have heard uh, many who told me that they understand even more the book when they hear it spoken because they know where the emphasis is and it awakens some deep value and deep connection. And I'm so glad uh, and grateful to the prerogatives of Penguin Random House and Deborah and, uh, <laughs> and of course Mariano and Juan and everybody involved for uh, this uh, possibility that uh, I can communicate with my voice really uh, the meaning as much as I have lived it and experienced it. It's so personal. And uh, I feel I can give more through the audiobook than just even the writing. But the writing, of course, is fabulous also uh, to read. Some people like to, to see things through the eyes. It's the perfect vehicle for telling stories and communicating ideas. And in the case of uh, of your book, Dr. Nader, um, your audiobook, this effect is enhanced because uh, yours is a very personal story, a very personal set of ideas, ideas about spirituality as a science and about the science of consciousness. And therefore it becomes especially meaningful when you, the author, read, read out loud your very thoughtful words in your own voice. Wonderful. Hi, how wonderful. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Tony. It's really a nice surprise. It was fun, constant fun, just helping facilitate such an important text being translated into audio. Um, like they said earlier, I think it's really important that it's in your voice. And there's something special when you hear someone reading out something like this. I think it transcends what we normally hear, I think. It's really important. There is something very precious about communicating in so many ways, communicating by writing so people can read, but the brain itself, the nervous system, has different aspects that are awakened through sound, through hearing. So in hearing, there are different parts of the nervous system that are awakened. So hearing plus conceiving, plus listening to the logic and following uh, the, the sound uh, and the, you know, the quality of the sound, which I hope uh, everyone will enjoy, 
makes a difference in actually enlivening different aspects of what we call communication, understanding, and knowledge. So it has a very profound value. And it was very beautiful to be uh, with such professionals. The SNK studios were really professional, welcoming. They prepared wonderful tea that helps for the voice, <laughs> which is, you know, after several hours, uh, no matter what, it gets a little tired, tired. So I had to uh, stretch a little bit, but they were really fabulous. And the same was uh, later on with Abbey Road. Of course, uh, they are also on top of the world. They are well known and they have been, uh, they have been really great, uh, open, uh, full of joy, great energy, very inspiring, which is very helpful. And it, uh, as it went on, it was flowing. And uh, I could really feel that I'm giving it uh, my feelings. I'm transmitting not only the intellectual knowledge, but the feeling also uh, I felt from my side was there. So it was really great. That's good. I'm glad you enjoyed your experience with us, and I'm glad you enjoyed the tea. It was very important. <laughs> the whole experience was fabulous. Great studios. Thank you. Thank you very much. We were so delighted to have you here, and our pre-production department were absolutely delighted to facilitate that for you, and a joy to work on, I have to say. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's listen now the introduction, the prologue to the audiobook by Dr. David Lynch. Please go ahead. Prologue by David Lynch. In this milestone book, Dr. Nader offers ideas that can change the world. He gives profound solutions to questions that have long fascinated and intrigued philosophers and scientists alike, covering fields as diverse as the purpose of life, good and evil, what is consciousness, and do we have freedom? Is there law and order or chaos in this universe? How to mend differences between the atheist and the believer? Determinism and choice. How to make the best out of one's life, fulfill one's desires, and create peace and harmony among peoples and nations. He offers these solutions based on one simple underlying paradigm that unifies mind, body, and the environment in one ocean of pure being, pure consciousness, a must read for any seeker of answers to the mysteries of life, the absolute and ultimate truth. David Lynch. Yesterday, we celebrated David's birthday. And so uh, on this occasion, it's wonderful just to remember him and send him our love and, and best feelings and happy birthday, David, if you're listening to us. It's not every day you get audio from David Lynch. So that was um, a very exciting day for us. And uh, yeah, it sounded great. It has his own David Lynch style, if that <laughs> makes sense. But um, <laughs> I think it's a great introduction to the book and um, yeah, it was really special to hear that. Let's listen right now, if you will, Dr. Nader, to a brief minute of your own recording of One Unbounded Ocean of Consciousness, which is, uh, as we said before, available in the most important audio services around the world. The purpose of life is the expansion of happiness, he said, before adding, Life is bliss and suffering is not necessary. The civil war raging around me, the suffering I met in the emergency room, the conflicts between people fighting or even killing each other for ideas, beliefs, political and economic convictions, and myriad other things spoke against what he was saying. Yet he radiated through the television screen something genuine and credible. His demeanor and his speech were inspiring. I felt drawn to watch and listen more. During 11 years at a French Jesuit school in my primary and secondary education, 
I had developed a keen interest in theology and philosophy. Really good. It's really great. It's been an adventure of uh, knowledge and experience and feeling. There is in the book the understanding of the importance of consciousness and also a guide to the technologies that will help develop consciousness for life to be lived in a better way and to be understood in its true value and its holistic true value, uh, bridging the uh, abstract with the concrete the uh, ideas with the physical applications, science with practical technology. And so it just puts together various ends and bits and pieces of our reality from emotions to thinking, to feeling, to reason, to uh, physical aspects, the, to the impressions that we get, history and uh, future meaning of life. And so it's a wonderful adventure for me. It has been great. I am so grateful now that I can share it with everyone. Oh, incredible. Dr. Nader, I have one more surprise. Is the audiobook will be nominated by Penguin Audio for the Grammy Award and the Audio Award in English and Spanish. Uh, well, congratulations, Dr. Meder. You are wow, really thank you so much. <laughs> it's just today that I heard that. It's so fabulous. <laughs> uh, we'll have to ask Michael, what does he think? What are our chances? <laughs> really good, really good. I'll vote for you. <laughs> Great. So we like to, this experience, we like to thank a Penguin Random House in the UK, and in Argentina and worldwide for organizing it. And today it is available for listening the audiobook in English and Spanish on all the platforms that we can see now. Audible, Kobo, Apple Books, Audiotech, and Libro FM, where it could be accessible. And we after this, we just like to thank everyone who participated in making it happening. And this experience of uh, Dr. Nader reading the book is the beginning of a, a, another way to reach the people for the development of consciousness and this alliance with natural law, all this knowledge. And we now like in the closing, we like to invite Dr. Nader to give his final words. Life is truly meant to be lived on the platform of happiness and peace and infinite potential can be truly achieved. That is the essence of the message based on science, on technology, on discoveries, on ancient knowledge and ancient practices, as well as modern understanding of mind and body and the relationship. And so it is really my great joy that in different platforms, this book is made available to share this profound understanding that can truly make a difference and remove any need for fighting and division that can really give us an understanding how through consciousness, we can not only improve our individual life, but the life of society and the life between nations and also how we can make the right choices for the environment, for health, for the production and use of artificial intelligence, of genetic engineering, and all the things that might be a threat to our world or become a wonderful opportunity to make our world a heavenly, really life on earth. And that's our birthright as humans, we have that capacity to contact the field of pure consciousness and we can make life better for ourselves and others. And it's my great gratitude and joy to feel uh, thankful uh, and send my best wishes to all those who have participated and are participating in sharing this knowledge. So thank you all. <laughs>